Taram param bararadum bum bum ba param baradadum ba do 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 do. Hello. This is Jackson. Yes. I am, and have been for many years. Your husband's lover. <laughs> George. Hello? It's not funny. You remember the last holiday you had together? When he got a private call on his mobile? Well, that was me. And last week he came home from work later than usual, didn't he? Yes, he was with me. Why are you doing this? Because he's too scared to do it himself. Hello? Hello? I'm coming. Here we are. Surprise! Surprise! You won't get in here. Happy birthday, you old cat! <laughs> G'day, mate. Come on, get a drink. Yeah. Use one of these. Oh yes, why is that? Because this is a party. Actually, you're right. I could do with one of those. Thanks. <sighs> Have another one. Living dangerously. You should have seen me in my golden days. I guess. Did you hear the latest about Elizabeth? Last summer. This was me. Attention, please. Thanks a lot, George. Um, it's really great to see so many old friends here tonight having a wonderful time. And when I say old, I, I really mean old. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Uh, I see, yeah. Um, Look, I really have to take this. Uh, it's an important call. Emma, can you look after the drinks for us? <laughs> Thanks. Hello. Yeah. What's up, Oscar? Who's that? It's Jim, from work. Oh, Jim? Yeah, I have to go to the hospital. It's really urgent. Oh, 
And is it really urgent, or is it just one of those urges, Oscar? What? I know where you're going, and you make me feel sick to the stomach. I really don't have time for this. Why don't you just grow some balls and say what you have to say? Say what exactly? Just say it! Say it! All right, all right, I'll say it. I'm really sorry for having to leave. Are you happy now? If you leave, I'll give you sorry, you and your stupid friends down there. Come on. <laughs> Emma, what do you want about? Emma, come back. This is what I think of you. Oh. <laughs> Emma. Don't laugh at me. Look, Emma, sweetie, I don't want you to do anything stupid, so just put that thing down. I have a critically ill patient who needs me. Come near me. And do not patronise me. I know where you're going. So spare me, blaming myself all these years because he wasn't interested in sex or having children, ever. And the most hurtful thing of all is that all of you knew all along. I bet I was the laughing stock. And don't pretend you didn't know. Emma. Why don't you just lie down for a while? You'll feel so much better. Oh, yes. And well, why don't I just stuff myself full of Valium like you do every day? Oh, now then, George, isn't it time to tell the little wife that you haven't had an income for a year and she'd better go a bit easy on that credit card? And why don't we talk about Martin's dirty little trips to Thailand? Elizabeth! Maybe we should tell everyone your little secret, too. No. I don't think you can understand how humiliating this is. Yeah, that's me. I am and have been for many years. Your wife's lover. You what? You heard me. Look, I don't know which Mrs. Jones you're screwing, mate, but it ain't mine, that's for sure. It's very flattering that you called me, but uh, I, I don't even have a girlfriend right now. Alrighty then. Mrs. Jones?